What is up, DJ Army? Another what awesome is John doing some more drone craft for you today, and uh, we're gonna get right into it because we got a lot to cover as we always do. Last episode, I set up my quarry and got it running and everything, and I've been tooling around a little bit with the sorting system here. You can see my quarry is done, it's a 64 by 64 quarry, all the way to bedrock. It took about three days where really I was just taking some time away from drone craft to do some different games and uh, let uh, the real life catch up with the episodes I was posting. Okay, so. As you can see, I've got lots of stuff. Let's start here. Remember, I stopped sorting about right here. So I got all these materials, and it kind of goes in chronological order from highest part of the quarry, uh, the levels on the Miscraft Age, down deep into the into the depth. So you can see lots of copper here and tin. A little bit of copper here. It's starting to bottom out with the copper, and we're getting more into lead and obviously iron and gold even. Um, so back here, obviously no gold, just some um, copper and some tin. Uh, no lead as well, and we get really deep into it. We're getting down to redstone, nickelite, gold, um, still iron, and that's why there's so much iron. Ferris, tons of stuff down at the deep parts, 64 diamonds. Then at the final little bit here, some more diamonds and some dust and stuff, zycorum, things like that. Um, so that's the whole quarry. It actually did only take the five chests to do the 64 by 64. Also, I set up all these barrels to take uh, to capture some of what I wanted to get out of the sand, you know, and uh, sandstone and stuff like that. Set up these barrels. So now let's go collect that that quarry. But first, what I wanted to do is make another bag. Cause I'm just going to put all my quarry stuff in that bag. So let's go make one of those. Uh, the last time I made a bag was just for my tool bag. I'm going to get a couple more of these, actually. So what I'm going to do is get some string like I did last time. And let's see. I don't need that recipe right now. Oh, I already have it in here. Neat. should just teach this thing how to make canvas because I'm lazy. All right, so 22 should be oh, plenty because I think the bag just goes like this. Let's make a couple bags. Oh, that's a seed bag. I think canvas all the way around is a bag. Yeah, there we go. Now, I wonder if you can dye them after the fact, after the fact. Let's see. Well, that's how you make a canvas. Let's see. What about, is there a red canvas bag? Huh. It's not showing up right here. I can't remember how I did it last time. Let's just make a white one anyway. So, we're going to get a white one. Uh, and let's put some more string in there. And I want one more bag. Let's just make one more bag. Now, I wonder if I can, I hope I can dye them, because now, um, now, now I really want to dye them. I don't know if it's already too late they're created. So let's get some red dye for one of them, which actually would be in here. I'm going to leave the quarry. I think I'll make the quarry as red. Let's see if we can alter that real quick. It's probably just like this. Bam, red. Okay. Now that I have that, I can go pick up my quarry, and I'll just throw it in my little projects uh, silver chest there. I moved my quarry age to here, I actually made a link book for it, and this takes me directly to my quarry, which is a great idea to do, I think. And as you can see, we're at, as soon as it loads in anyway, we're at bedrock. I'll be right back, it's going to take a little bit for the Mistcraft age to actually load up and us to be able to, to do stuff. Hold on. Alright, all loaded in. Now I'm going to come down here like I do sometimes, and I got my jetpack on, and my long fall boots, so this should not hurt. Ugh! <laughs> I look for diamonds. Oh, oh, there's some. And I wanted to show you this fortune pick. You guys really need to get one of these. It's the first thing I'm going to be getting from now on. So let's see. Do I have any diamonds in this pack? No. I have no diamonds on me. Let's hit this guy. So I'm going to pull these diamonds out so we can watch how many I got. So I got two off that one. This does have a fortune three. It's uh, unbreaking three, efficiency four, and fortune three. It's probably one of the best ones you can get. Got it on my first enchant. Got lucky. So let's watch this build up. Two blocks now gives me five diamonds. <laughs> this is why I have so many. Uh, let's see. Efficiency, right? Uh, might go have to go in hover mode. So hold hold spacebar and push M, hover mode. It's a little easier to hit these blocks and stuff. Well, let's just... Oh, crap. Here's just do it like this. Three more. Oh, only got one there. Usually I get like four, so... <laughs> One is unusual. Oh, got two on that one. All right, that's good. And a couple times when I was waiting to see how far it had gotten, I came down here and saw, noticed some diamonds wh where it was kind of on the level it was mining. So I decided to just mine them out so that I could get the extra diamonds. That's why I have a little uh, those extras in there. But I wanted to keep it separate from what I'm doing here. Come on. Quick, mine me out a spot. There we go. 
so that you can see how many I got off this. So we've mined up, what, six blocks or something? Or is it five? Five blocks, I think? There we go. Three more. Wow, I'm actually not doing that good on this one. Three more again. And one. Wow, usually I get three and four and three and four. Still 19 diamonds off of about seven blocks or eight blocks. Not bad at all, actually. Now that was nine blocks, maybe? Pretty cool. Any more of them? I think there was only those three. That's all I spotted before. There we go. I'm not really looking down here because it looks like there's just all sandstone down there. I was kind of taking a peek there earlier and I didn't see any. So that's it. Let's go get this quarry. So I'm going to hit M. There we go. Now it's in regular mode. Just going to put this quarry right in the bag here. I'm also going to pick the book up. Because I'm gonna, probably going to be destroying this world. I'm not really sure. Um, I still have the other book to go to. Why am I using this? Let's use this. So I'll be back when I pick this all up and get back to the regular world and we'll do some sorting. Hold on. Uh, real quick, I did want to show you, now that I've picked this up, you can see that the quarry is starting to disintegrate. So that's really neat. I'm glad they added that feature in. Uh, it doesn't really help with the big hole, but still, it's kind of neat that the, you know, it doesn't leave its fencing around here or uh, structural whatever this is. So anyway, now that everything's all picked up, I'm going to put it in my bag. I've already put a ton of stuff in there. There's the quarry, the ender chest, the more solar panels. I think that's everything that I need to do to make a quarry. So I'll just be storing that quarry back at the house. Um, I'm going to have to use a book, but I've got this one over here still that I can use. Still have my jetpack on here. Probably get, ooh man, really should probably mine that out. So this is gonna, but this is gonna send me back to uh, Isengard here. Castle, uh, Tower, or Thank. Done a lot of work on this place. Not sure if I've done any since the last video or not, uh, but we're just gonna fly out of the top right here. It's a little faster. And I'll be back when this place loads in. We actually have one more thing I wanna do downstairs with. Well, we don't need it. We'll just wait. It'll load in as we uh, walk around here. I wanna make, put one more gating system on. Uh, downstairs. I want to put a gate on the other energy cell so that I don't have to worry about engines running all the time. Uh, I can just let them run when they need to and when they don't, uh, don't run I guess. So let's put, actually let's put this away first. There's my quarry set up. Bam. I really should get one for the filler too. And I'll do that probably off camera. Um, I'm going to have lots of bags for that for little things that I uh, set up all over the place. Like maybe an oil pumping one, stuff like that. Uh, I do have some red wool jacket wire. Good. Let's go downstairs, put those diamonds with the other part of our hall. Uh, pretty nice. Let's get a fortune pick, man. Look at that. Almost a stack and a half of diamonds off that one quarry. Okay, so I want to add a uh, feedback system here that will shut these guys off automatically. So I'm going to take this off. Obviously, I'm going to connect. Why is it not picking these up? It's probably because it's not loading in yet. So hold on a sec, guys. Yep, almost just after I turned the camera off, it loaded them in. So I'm going to put this thing, kind of wanted to put it right there, but actually it works better right here. What I'm going to do is connect this sucker up, like so. I'm going to need another structural pipe, aren't I? Which I did not get upstairs. I'm probably going to have to go upstairs to get that. Let's just do that real quick. It's just one gravel and a regular build craft transport pipe. So I should have some of those. Yeah, here we go. Stone transport pipe. Or is it cobble? It might be cobble. If it is, I thought I had some of those, but maybe not. Let's get some gravel. It's going to be nice to have these chests uh, sort out and everything, sorting to the right what I actually want to do with it. No, it's cobble. I thought I had some of that stuff. Where is it? Maybe it's not sorted. Nope, it's sorted all right. Maybe is it in here? I don't see any pipes. Maybe I left them in there. Because I know I made this uh, the other day, right? Oh, I probably made it downstairs. Let's just make some more. It's fine. I'll just store them in my uh, thing over there. Getting a little bit of uh, FPS issues here, I think. I don't really know why. I just turned my machine on, so it shouldn't be that. So, cobble. Obviously, I have tons of it. There you go. Cobblestone, transport pipe. And let's make a few of these. We'll just store them in the, uh, the old... Uh... Actually, let's make some more. Let's see if we can make eight. I don't really have any other use for cobblestone transport pipe. So we're going to make a whole bunch and just store them in the tool bag here. I'll be getting another tool bag probably because I'm going to have one for just tools and then I'm going to have one for just extra stuff like the, the cobblestone uh, 
you know, the structural pipe and, and maybe some gates and stuff like that. Uh, so actually I put it away the wrong way, didn't I? Let's do it the reverse. I only want one of these. Let's put that wrench back and I'll put these guys away and let's put this down here. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put the structural pipe here just like we did um, for the quarry. We're going to put the gate there and you can, as you can see, it connected directly to that redstone uh, jacketed wire. That's awesome. Now I need to pull out and I want to have some of these and I don't. They're probably upstairs. Let's just make some real quick in the project table. Oh, I have some. There they are. I just forgot to put them back in the tool bag. So I'm going to pretty that up with one of these. Uh, this is a special kind of cover. It's called a hollow stone cover. That's what I'm using to add a cover where those jacketed wires are. And really, there's the way you make it is just to put these covers all the way around in a figure eight pattern here, or in an eight, uh, basically a zero pattern, and you'll get eight of these covers. So pretty easy uh, recipe, but kind of hard to learn, and the NEI doesn't seem to teach it to you very well. So let's put one of those there. Bam. Good. So the way we're going to configure this is to say, let's see, if you can store energy, emit a signal. Okay. So I think it should, okay, one, uh, can store energy, it's true right now, emit a redstone signal. Now it's emitting a redstone signal, the pumps turn on to fill this guy up pretty awesome. He's almost full anyway. So let's just see what happens when he fills up, which shouldn't take long. Um, I'm going to stop the camera though. Hold on. As you can see, it filled up and <laughs> it did it faster than I anticipated and the redstone signal went off and my engines are now off. So now we have an automated system for that, which should be awesome. It should manage itself and never bug me. Actually, it would be really nice to just put it down there though, wouldn't it? It's kind of not a great spot for it. Let's... Um, Let's do this. Okay. And we'll just move, oops, missed it. We'll move all this stuff over here. In fact, we'll just put it right there. Cobblestone, bro. Where are you? I'm just kind of weird <laughs> about things being straight and uh, not being ugly, I guess is a good way to say it. So that means he's gonna have to come up. Actually, he can do his turn right there, that's fine. So he's going to go like that and up and connect right there. And I can fill this in with cobble. Oh, still got the jetpack on. A little bit annoying at times. Let's see. Switch that with the lap pack. And stone. Try to always have stone when I'm doing this kind of stuff. And we can take this off now. It's not necessary. Cool. So this is a much nicer looking system now. I like it. There. And it will manage the power for me, and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now that that's done, let's see. I'm looking at my list here. I wanted to get that done, and now what I want to do is upgrade these barrels because these uh, regular barrels made out of factorization here will only store 64 stacks of an item. That's a lot, but there's a much better barrel to make, and you can see i got a couple more barrels here. I'm going to show you how to make these real quick, uh, the barrels. I'm not sure I showed you that. Just put three planks, or, yeah, planks, pull out these slabs, Put one slab at the top and then put wood all the way around it. So I'm going to make two more of these, I think, because I like to do things in even numbers. I don't know why. There we go. Now we've got some extras. I'll probably just leave them down here. <clears throat> Actually, probably should take those upstairs since my barrels are going to go upstairs. Now, I want to upgrade these things, like I was saying, because regular barrels just don't store enough. The next higher up barrel, something it's called something dimensional barrel. Here it is, extra dimensional storage. Uh, this guy can hold 1,024 stacks of something. Uh, so that's definitely what I want to get for like cobble, uh, sand, all that stuff. I never really, really want to run out of that stuff. Um, if I get extra, I don't want to throw it in, in the lava. So to get that, we're going to need dark iron ingots, which we haven't talked about, ender pearl, a barrel, a couple blaze rods, leather, and stuff like that. I'm going to get set up to do this to demo how you would get the dark iron ingots, and I'll bring it back. So I'm at the nether, at the blaze spawner here, collecting some more blaze rods. Uh, I only had like three, I think, right? And I got six. I'm going to get about four more. Oh, 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 blaze, Danzians. Oh, quick, die. I hate when, oh, we're getting shot, getting shot. Oh, here. Oh, I didn't kill him. I thought I could, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm freaking out. So this is going to take, a... wait a minute. It's really light in here now. Anyway, I'll be back in the overworld when I'm done. Later, guys. All right, guys. I just got back and landed in Castle or Tower Orthanc here, uh, part of Isengard. So I need to make another sword because you can see 
I've got uh, 30 something levels so hopefully I need a sort of looting that'd be really nice uh, if I get a sort of looting I, I won't have to farm blaze rods as much when I do need them uh, it doesn't take that long but it takes a while it takes long enough so hopefully I get one Vorpal and Pain of Arthropods again! Some people never get that. Uh, the Vorpal one's kind of cool, though. It's a, it's a red power 2 enchant that lets you cut the heads off of dudes. So they'll actually show up uh, on the ground when you kill them. It's kind of neat. Uh, Jetpack, not on yet. Cool. Alright, so I'll see you back at the place. Hold on. Alright guys, I'm all ready to go here. I've got my iron and obsidian to make the next piece. Now, to make these dimensional barrels and to make dark iron uh, ingots, you're going to need to make a wrath igniter. So if you look at that wrath igniter here, it just takes a diamond shard and nether brick. Now, nether brick is something I should probably already get too, just to have it with me. There we go. Now, the diamond shard is a lot harder to make. Uh, to make diamond shards, we're going to need to get some TNT obsidian, which I already have, that I already showed you, and a diamond block. Uh, luckily, we have tons of diamonds, and we've got tons downstairs too, so I don't mind making this. Uh, but it is a slightly costly, but it makes some pretty cool items. These uh, The diamond shards help you make some pretty cool items. So diamond block, let's see, diamond block in there with, I don't have TNT, do I? T I don't, I've never even made TNT, because I don't want to blow stuff up. Uh, here we go. So just TNT, sand, and gunpowder. Finally have a use for my gunpowder here. And we're going to need probably all of it. Possibly anyway. Let's get some sand. Make our TNT real fast. Uh, and once we make these diamond shards, they should last quite a while. Again, I've never made TNT. Not something I make a lot. Uh, and I need, I think, four of these. Yes. So, and I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. Four. Cool. So I've got, you know, I'm going to get rid of that recipe. It's really bugging me. Okay, so i got four of those, and the TNT goes on the inside, and the obsidian goes on the outside. I really need to get something to make obsidian because I'm tired of mining it. So this gets you a craft packet. Uh, it does not get you the actual shards right away. So what you have to do with this craft packet is you have to put it in a, in a craft packet stamper. So we're just going to go stamper. This is all out of factorization. This will take your uh, craft packets and give you the items that are from it. There's also a craft packet maker, I believe it's called. Let's look at craft. Yeah, the maker here, well, you can put items in the maker and a craft packet will pop out. Now those craft packets are stackable and all the items are in the craft packet. Uh, it's a different way to do automated uh, crafting and you can just make one of these stampers and the stamper will give you the items back from the craft packet. Uh, so we're gonna make this real quick. This, the, uh, in this case, we don't need the maker. We only need the stamper. So I'm going to look for, I think, a crafting table, right? Is that what it said it needed? The stamper? Yeah, a piston and a crafting table. So we'll go up here for the for the piston. Let's get one of those out. I think I left my... Yeah, I did. All right, so then all we need is, let's see, stone and then iron. So let's put the piston on the top. Sto uh, cobblestone, I'm pretty sure. And then iron. Bam! Stamper. Nice. Now, I thought you could maybe just do... No, nope, you can't. I thought maybe you could. Okay, so, we got our stamper, and now we don't need this in here. We really don't need this either. So let's put those two things away. Um, wow, actually using my gunpowder. It's different for me. Also, I made that extra tool bag like I was talking about. Let me show you that real quick. In the yellow one, I just have tools... And in the orange one, I have all the extra parts and stuff that I carry around. That'll make it a lot easier. Now, I'm just going to throw this uh, crafting thing down here. It might move. Uh, this might be a temporary spot for it. Really not sure. i got some plans for this area over here. Um, and I'm not... Uh, i got some plans for it. It's coming up in a couple episodes. So you just throw your packet down here. And bam, you get the sh whatever's in the packet. Now, this makes 18 shards. So great. So you can see we're not going to run out of this for, very, in a, for quite a long time. Uh, now, what did I need to make the, uh, I think it's nether rack, or nether brick, right? I already have that. So we'll just put one shard, one nether brick, and we have a wrath igniter. This thing's pretty awesome. Uh, it starts wrath fire, and diamonds, I guess we could just put here, just like we were, we would normally anyway. Uh, it starts wrath fire, which is a really strong fire. It burns stuff like crazy, but what we want to use it for, and wow, I really am probably going to have to start using my stuff soon, is to make some dark iron ingots. 
Um, let's see how many this will make. I might have to go downstairs. I'm trying to make diamond or iron blocks here. Get. Uh, I'm gonna get probably six. That should do it for now. Um, because I don't want to repeat this process all that often, and six should get me a good amount. And actually, that might be exactly how many I need, to be honest. So let's go out here with these blocks. You definitely don't want to do this in your house. You're going to put them down in an area that's pretty devoid of any kind of trees or grasses or anything you don't want to catch on fire. In fact, that's a good spot right there. Let's just make another spot for these. Now what you want to do is take your Wrath Igniter and right-click these guys, and they're going to start on fire. So you can see there was a fire. Now, the, the Wrath Igniter does take a little bit of damage. Not too bad, though. Now, these whole things are going to catch on fire and turn this these iron blocks into dark iron blocks. You can see the Wrath fire spreading a little bit right here. So that's why you got to be careful. There they go. Nice. And when the Wrath fire goes out, it will start regular fires, which will not go out. You must put them out. This Wrath fire is still going. Okay, it's out. Now, you can just mine these up. And you've got dark iron blocks. Pretty cool. Six of them. Each one of these makes four dark iron ingots. So you spend nine iron basically to get four dark iron ingots. Pretty cool. So let's just do that. Let's convert these guys. Cool. Now I've got, I think I've got everything I need now. Oh, I need ender pearls. And I think we're going to have to convert those because I don't think I have any. Yep, I don't. We're going to need iron again. We're going to need six ender pearls. I think I'm going to make about six barrels. Going to need some more barrels, actually, too. Um, so it's going to go like this with the minium stone. I'm probably going to set up something to start getting uh, ender pearls the legit way instead of using the minium stone. I mean, it's legit. It's in the game, and, but it's kind of cheating because it's, I don't know, it's pretty easy to get. Ender pearls are a lot harder to get than diamonds, so it doesn't feel even. So we're going to make dimensional barrels, right? We need, okay, we have everything we need but leather. So let's go get some of that. Should have enough. That should do it. And I'm going to need a few more barrels, which we're just going to make a few more right here. And I've already got the stuff to make them. We'll just make uh, all four of these, and we'll make six extra dimensionals. So it goes right there. Blaze rods, pearls uh, that I think go on the top, and then surrounded by dark iron ingots. Cool. Dimensional, extra dimensional storage. Nice. Let's go place those bad boys down. Okay, let's get this leather out of here. Put it away. Probably, I'm also going to be doing an auto leather farm pretty soon. Using leather in a lot of different stuff. Now, I might as well just consider that a tool. I'll put it right there. I'm going to be using it for something pretty soon. Uh, probably in another episode, because it looks like this episode is just about up. wanted to show you how to make these. So, oh, you know what? These are an upgrade to barrels. That's how that works pretty sure this is an upgrade barrel upgrade so you now you have to have barrels already in order to um, place these on let's just make six of those let's get some more barrels here got tons of wood not really worried about wood at all now I do need more wood just to finish this let's put a stack in there that way I can make some more barrels whenever I need it probably should put this in the chest one and teach this thing barrels but I'm probably not gonna be making them well I probably will actually be making them quite often so we'll have to teach it uh, barrels. In fact, let's go do that now. Let's go get an extra one. Because we're not going to get to the sorting machine until next episode. I pretty much know it. Um, so here we go. Chests. I'm going to teach you barrel, buddy, because you're going to be doing barrels for me. Now I wonder if it'll... Let's see if it just says wood or what. Redwood. It's going to make me use redwood. That's okay. Looks like we got tons of that stuff here. Perfect. All right. Now it knows barrels as well. Okay, so let's put those barrels down, and then we'll put the upgrades on them. Sweet. This is going to be so awesome. Um, I've got a... So six, let's see. One, two, three. Let's just do four for now. I've got an idea of how I want to do the other couple of barrels. We're going to put those probably in this miscellaneous box for now, uh, as well as two of the upgrades. But let's upgrade these guys. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wonder if I have to shift-click. Oh, I think I do. Shift click. So I shift clicked, and now I have the extra dimensional barrels. Nice. Now let's set these guys up. I want one for, well, that's not going to work unless I throw the digger back back down. There we go. One for dirt, one for cobble. So we'll just set those up right now. Dirt, cobble, and then I'm going to do sand and sandstone, which I think I already have in here. Let's look. I do have sandstone. I don't have any sand. Let's go get one. 
and just need one and we're gonna set those up and then we're gonna be ready to pump that junk up here uh, when we are all set throw this sometimes the digger backpack can be a little annoying sandstone and sand I think those are the only four that I care about let's go look yep that's it that's all four of the different types I have down here okay so that's all set up now everything's all set up the, the few things we wanted to do are done uh, picked up the quarry uh, put an automated system on here for my engines and you can see it's working it's gonna stay at 600,000 all the time when I start using machines it will start pulling it out you can see some of the machines need power to stay on that's the uh, IC2 actually that's those IC2 machines so that doesn't have anything to do with Billcraft power um, so we got the extra dimensional barrels that took up quite a bit of our time let me just show you the wrath lamp since we're gonna end this episode this is what I want to put at the top of my house here and now that I have a wrath igniter I can make these wrath lamps these also come out of factorization really cool gonna have to make some more dark iron ingots some silver a wrath igniter which is not consumed and glass panes so I'm gonna want let's see one two three four five of those guys that's twenty more wrath ingots or dark iron ingots let's just go downstairs and make some more of those probably gonna make a whole bunch of that stuff up because I don't really want to make it again so there we go I did about 28 of these nice look at all that dark iron ingots now I won't have to do this for a long long time that should make almost a stack uh, luckily I have this open area and it's not near any buildings or anything so let me just put this fire out and we'll be done I'll meet you back inside looks like it almost made two stacks actually so really nice now Let's make those wrath lamps. I'm going to make five uh, for the house, but I also want to make some for other areas. I don't want to have to remake them again. There's no point in doing that. I'd like to make a few extras. Let's see how much damage the wrath uh, igniter takes on one. So that's two strikes on dark iron so far. There's about, It looks like there's about five. So it's, that's not too bad. Wow, that's getting close to bad. Let's see how many I can make now. Okay, so eight. That's good for now pretty sweet now okay I'll put that, all that stuff away we've got our uh, lamps and I'm probably gonna wait till it's dark to show you the other piece because I want to show you uh, the cool effects of these lamps I, I did do a, a mod spotlight on factorization uh, if you want to go check that out it's a lot more to factorization than I'm showing you um, I'm just showing you the parts that I'm using right now uh, but there's tons of different things you can do with factorization really cool mod uh, we're doing a couple of the cool coolest things in my opinion from that mod uh, so oh man I'll be right back when it's nighttime alright so logged out for a while came back after a while and now it's dark so there's a now this place is pretty lit up right now got my jackpack on let's go on hover mode let's take these torches off because I really don't torches are cool if you have them all set up nice and neat and cool looking these don't really look that cool in my opinion so we're gonna take this stuff off come on there we go so that side's done this place should get pretty dark it is moonlit night I'm not sure if that really makes a difference or not I never really cared uh, but we're gonna take these off kinda wish we would have got to the sorting uh, system today but you know getting the um, dark iron ingots was a big thing uh, big move it's gonna help me a lot with the sorting system that I want to do getting those extra dimensional barrels um, I really don't want to have to set that up twice so it's kinda nice that I got that done uh, then I'll be able to show you the really cool thing I want to do with those extra dimensional barrels uh, with the sorting system next episode okay so we've knocked out pretty much all of these there's a couple more here there we go pretty dark in here is there one more over here yeah seems like they're everywhere oh, there's some up there alright so it's pretty dark in here right M uh, mobs are gonna be spawning on my face soon let's put a wrath lamp right here see what happens so I put the oh no it wasn't close enough a little bit of a bug or something come on so there we go nice look at that lights up this whole place it light, it'll light down 30 blocks from where uh, you place it so really nice wide lighting effect with that one wrath lamp and it looks really sweet too um, I'll be replacing these probably with more chandelier looking wrath lamps or something uh, but for now these will do and I just want to get these hooked up before this episodes over for you alright cool again episode 20 I did 
uh, put the the world download link in episode 20. If you didn't get that check, go check that out. If you didn't, uh, nice, very cool. Uh, if you didn't go check it out, you can download this world and play in it. It's uh, every 10 episodes I'll be doing that. Someone asked for it, so I figure that's easy enough to do. So cool, wrath lamps. Now I don't have to have those annoying po- torches everywhere. Um, I'll probably be lighting up my streets with la- wrath lamps too, like with lamp posts or something. It'll be a nice, easy way to light up an area without having torches everywhere, because that's really annoying. Uh, so these are extra ones are going to go here. Cool. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll be back next episode. We'll finally be working on the actual sorting system. There's nothing else to do besides sort out all this stuff into sorts uh, into those chests I have. And uh, it's going to be really awesome. Again, it's going to be a new item from Red Power that you have not, hopefully not seen. Well, well, hopefully you have actually, but you probably haven't. Red Power 6. I've been working with them quite a bit off camera just to check them out uh, in a test world. They're really awesome. I'll be back next time, guys. Let me know what you think about all these things I hooked up. What do you think about wrath lamps and uh, these extra dimensional barrels, which can hold 1,024 stacks of whatever item you put in them? Pretty awesome. So that's going to do it for this time, guys. See you next episode.